Hey everybody, Adam with Front Range Storm Contractors out here in Aurora checking up on a commercial roof. Um, it's, a, it's an apartment building and it's got a ton of gravel and underneath that is called built up roofing. So it's just about 50 feet that way and right about 65 feet that way and from the top of the <clears throat> excuse me from the top of the parapet wall there down to the roofing itself is a foot and then it's all supposed to drain this way there's a gutter along this side here, but from the top of the parapet wall here, down to the roof, it's like 10 inches. So, there's a piece of drip edge along this edge here, where the drip edge actually goes up a little bit, and then down over the edge. That's called a gravel stop. And it's to keep the gravel from going over the edge. Um, plus, they also have, you know, a ton of just mastic and roofing tar. If you step in it, I don't know if you can see those footprints there, but uh, if you step in it while it's warm like it is today, you'll definitely leave a footprint, sink into it a little bit. And so that's what contributes to the the difference in the height from or from the top of the parapet wall down to the edge of the roof. Um, so if we got rid of the gravel, we could get rid of the gravel stop, and also this inch inch and a half thick of mastic here. Um, and then we could put a gentle slope in it to help with the drainage. This customer says that the roof is so old they're worried about the weight when it gets snow and when the water just sits on the roof, plus the weight of the rocks themselves. Um, so we're going to come up with a plan to change out the type of roofing that's up here. may also have a couple layers of roofing, but I can't do a core sample yet to determine that. Um, I don't think it does, other than the built-up roofing itself is going to be a couple layers. But, uh, so this will be a fun project. We do commercial and residential. Let us know. Give us a call. Have a good one, everybody.